Yo, what's going on guys? It's Gamer here, back again with another Borto episode review. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and today we are going to be reviewing episode 9 for Borto, and the title for this episode is called Proof of Oneself. Now, in the last episode, which was episode 8, we were led to believe that Hiyashi, uh, Hiyashi Huga was going to fight Borto, because in the last episode, Borto led everyone to believe that he had unlocked his Byakugan. But for those of you who pay attention and actually are not stupid, you know, you would know that Boruto doesn't have a Byakugan nor a Tentacon. I've seen a lot of people saying uh, say in like other other people's like videos, comments and stuff like that saying like, Oh, Boruto has a Tensegon because of Toneri, uh, Toneri from Nara to the Last. Just because he shows up, that means Boruto has the Tensegon. But that doesn't make sense because why would he, why would it be his reason of him just showing up, not even really doing anything, of Boruto having the, tense the Tensegon? It just doesn't make sense, and plus, Boruto's Dojutsu doesn't even even look remotely like the Tentagon. And you can't say it looks like the Byakugan because Hiyashi and uh, Hinata and Hanabi are literally there and they can activate their Byakugan at will. So it literally does just not make any sense. But anyways, the episode starts off, Hiyashi is talking to Boruto and he says, I will personally be your, uh, your opponent. And we'll see whether or not you have the Byakugan, even though Boruto can't manifest it, or because of the fact that he doesn't have it anyways. Uh, Hanabi steps in, and he's talking to his dad, like, how about I go ahead and fight Boruto instead? So, sadly, we don't get to see Hiyashi beat the fuck out of uh, Boruto. But we do get to see Hanabi beat the fuck out of Boruto. And if people are upset at the fact that Hanabi was the one who fought Boruto, I don't really have a problem with it, because the Hanabi was always kind of really known to have a strong Byakugan as is anyways, so it wasn't really like that big of a power difference between Hiyashi and Hanabi. But I guess some people would rather want to see Hiyashi beat the fuck out of Boruto, because I certainly did when the episode ended off last week with Hiyashi telling Boruto, like, yo, I'm going to fight you. I was like, yes, finally, Boruto fucking loses for once. Because he, he seems to be just Wonder Boy and he never fucking loses. But, you know, uh, Hanabi and Boruto start training. Uh, well, not training, they're sparring. They're fighting each other. And Boruto is just getting utterly, utterly massacred. You know, he just doesn't stand a chance against Hanabi. Because, for those of you who know, Hanabi has gone through, you know, serious training herself at such a young age by her father and plus her Byakugan is very strong for people who for people who don't believe me her Byakugan strong because Toneri actually stole her Byakugan so that way he can get his his Tensegon so his Tensegon was significantly more powerful than a lot of, than a lot of other people's dojutsu so you know Hanabi just he uh, he's just overpowering Boruto Boruto just doesn't stand a chance but later on in the episode, after Porto, you know, loses because he doesn't really stand a chance. Oh, by the way, for, who, for people who didn't um, see it or who just never knew in the first place, Porto does seem to know the Gentle Fist style. And do I hate it? No, but does it make sense? Yeah, kind of, actually. Uh, Hanabi actually shows that she does know the 8 Trigon Palm rotation, but that shouldn't really come to a surprise for people who were surprised by it. But Boruto loses, he's just like, he's just like kind of like chill about it or whatever, he doesn't, it doesn't seem like he's like upset or whatever. Uh, they kind of just have like, they stay the night, they have dinner, and then Hiyashi and uh, Naruto, they actually go into a separate room and then they start talking with each other. Uh, Hiyashi's like, are you disappointed by your son? And then Naruto's like, nah, I'm not upset at him, because it showed that Boruto seemed to have like matured, I guess, because... He thought that Boruto was saying that he unlocked the Byakugan just for the sake of attention, and that's what that's what probably has been happening, you know, ever since Naruto became the Hokage. Because as you know, Boruto's upset at Naruto because he doesn't spend time with his fucking kids or whatever. But it's just like he's 
he's the Hokage, so there's really nothing you can do about it. But he he honestly thought he was lying. Uh, uh, Naruto really honestly thought that his son was lying just to get attention by everybody, and including his dad, who he just really just kind of wants attention of, of himself. But it was different. He tried really fucking hard to be Hanabi, but with no success. But it proved that he wasn't lying, so that's really, I guess, all that matters. But... That's pretty much kind of where, like, the whole episode, like, kind of ends off for me of, like, any real, like, significance. Because, like, you have a, you have a little, like, dialogue between Hanabi and Boruto again, like, really late at night, you know, because, you know, Boruto's kind of just like, oh, I didn't have Byakuga, uh, whatever, but that, that's kind of just where, like, the importance of, like, the plot kind of moves on. For me, at least, it seems like, because after that, it's just like, Boruto goes out, he meets Sarada, who has actually been doing some night training, so that kind of already shows who's, you know, better, I guess, but not really, but, uh, apparently, the, the movie, uh, that Boruto and Shikidai and, like, a couple others, that they watched in the last episode, the beginning of the last episode, Kagemasa, that was his name, I believe. Apparently his series had been cancelled, his next movie had been cancelled, and he was kind of like the main antagonist, I guess, for the end of the episode. Because he had been possessed by this, uh, by the purple shadowy chakra, or whatever the fuck it is, honestly, at this point. I don't know what it is, I wish I, I, wish I knew. I wish I could tell you what it is, but I can't, but apparently in between the end of the filming of the first movie and towards the, the almost the beginning of the film of his next one, he started to eat a lot and he started to get really fat and people were just like, oh, well, we don't want you to make another movie because you're fat and no, we don't want that. So I guess it's just kind of, it's just kind of like whatever. It, like I said, there's really nothing else, in my opinion, of importance that happened, like towards the, the end of the the episode. And just in in my personal opinion, th this is basically just the same plot that has been happening for the last month of what happens of what's happened throughout episodes one through seven. Episode eight is really where it showed like different a different take on what's been happening. Like, throughout all that's happened, and that's pretty much it, you know? The night ends, it's the next morning, Boruto is on his way out, and then uh, Himawari uh, is, is walking towards Boruto, and he's like, Yo, you forgot this, and it's the fucking glasses that he wore in the last episode. And then Boruto's like, Nah, I don't need it, you can have it. I don't need it. And then Himawari is just like, Oh, okay, whatever. And that's kind of just the end of the episode. No nothing else really happens besides the fact that Instead of him trying, uh, you know, say that he has this new dojutsu, he's gonna prove it by his actions of what he's gonna just pretty much do, I guess. Honestly, I don't really know. I don't really know what else to say. You know, uh, it's just that. You know, I liked the first half of the episode, and then the next step or the second half of the episode was just kind of like, oh, well, that's uh. That was fun. That was interesting. I, I, uh, yeah. That, I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking. But in the episode previews for the end of the episode, I, I guess we're gonna get end up seeing Sai for the first time since the end of uh, of Naruto Shippuden. So that's gonna be kind of exciting because it's fucking Sai and people like Sai. I don't hate him, but he's not like my favorite character or anything. So that should be exciting for people who are patiently waiting for the plot to you know move on from what it has been doing for the past month you know if the plot could just like do what it did in episode 8 which was the last episode that would be great but it's not doing that and it's just like is this just a, another Dragon Ball Super where the plot is slow and it's gonna take a while for anything interesting to actually kind of happen but it's whatever, you know, I, I liked it, and then I also didn't like it. I only really liked the first half, when Boruto was getting his ass, ass kicked and realizing like, oh, I don't have the Byakugan. So, that kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video. Um, I hope you guys are uh, have been enjoying 
the videos for the past uh, couple weeks or so. I've been trying to take my whole like spin off like reviews and stuff like that. And also, just a quick thing, just to kind of shorten out, uh, not really shorten out the video, but just like kind of shorten out my whole opinion about the episode. Uh, the animation was has been has been pretty solid for like the past month. So the animation was really good in the episode, in my, for what I can tell, because I only really did see the episode once. I might have to rewatch the episode again as to see if there are any uh, animation flaws or whatever. I would say the writing in general was was uh, really good until so, like the pretty much the, the the second half of the episode. Excuse me, uh, when Kagemasa was getting controlled by the shadowy chakra or whatever it is, right? And just overall, the episode was was really good. If I would rate it between one through five, I would give it like a three and a half. Like a three and a half. I say like a three and a half because first half was good, and then second half was just like, oh, you're gonna do this again? Great. You know, that's that's kind of it. But you know, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like. And if you enjoyed, enjoyed this video so much, and you want to see more videos like this. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for future videos just like this. And uh, at the end of the video, for uh, just for whatever reason, if you want to click on the screen for my playlist for Borto and for the last video that I did for Borto, you can go ahead and click on the screen for it right there. And yeah, I'll see you guys uh, next time in the next video. And also, I hope you guys have a great summer because school is almost over, at least for where I live. Uh, literally today and the next day are pretty much the last two days of school so if you guys are already off of school um, have a great summer if you guys are almost out of school uh, be patient because I know school sucks but summer is gonna be great so anyways if you guys enjoy drop a like if you're brand new subscribe see you later peace out